Last night we hosted a live Q&A, where myself and fellow content creator Officer John asked six of the EUC developers questions about themselves, development and future updates. And by some miracle, we managed to get information on 10 upcoming updates as well as a couple of teasers to show you all. Thanks everybody for joining and uh, we'll let the, the content creators will be hosting and asking us the questions that you guys have submitted to them. So I know probably like a lot of people in the PRC community have consoles. Um, have you guys ever thought of making like console only servers? So for console, I mean, again, our opinion could change on this, but the reason we aren't on console right now is because um, there's a great amount of work you have to do to be on console, you know, supporting controller controls, make sure all the UIs look good for it and everything. Cause you know, all that time we're spending on making it available for console, we could be working on a bigger and better update. One thing at a time, and it would take a lot of time to do that. Um, but I think, you know, it is something that uh, I do see a lot of people asking for, and I think it would be cool if we could get around to it one day. Similar to what Sean said in his answer, I've seen a bunch of people asking if ERC will come to console. And I suppose there is your answer. It would be cool to come one day, but at the moment they could be focusing on bigger updates. Okay, so let me start with this fire hose system. That was the most annoying thing to possibly make, just because there's like some Roblox engine bug that I didn't realize was an engine bug until maybe a week in. What about the ELS customization? Oh, that, that took about, I'd say like two weeks, just because um, the, uh, the ELS system was originally made by Mr. Fergie, so I had to learn his ways on how he made this you know i'm reading the script understanding every single part of it i'd say maybe a couple of days so we to fully understand everything because you know it's, a, it's several hundred lines of code made by someone else so i want to make sure i fully understand it so adding on to what sean said about ELS customization we've got a couple of videos of the development process of that so just thought i would share that because a lot of people like to see some behind the scenes footage actually um i do have one thing i can share kind of going back to canadian about the car design process. Um, we've been working on some original designs and drawing up blueprints for them. So as Mr. Fergie said, we managed to get both the blueprints and a development photo of the upcoming 2017 Falcon Interceptor. Now, again, this is based on a real life car, but then adapted to prevent any copyright or anything along the lines of that. So you can see here how it's looking so far. I'm going to guess this car will be implemented in the next update because uh, it's coming along quite nicely. <laughs> how do you say Sean's name? Is it Sean, Shawnee G or Sean yep, that's YG? The people who say Sean YG, they're all following, who is it, OMB or someone that, it's one of the, the content creators started that and now everyone caught wind to it. I think that was Ruffles. Oh, um, it was Ruffles. Anyway, so yeah, it's Sean G. That's how you pronounce the name. So yeah, apparently I have been saying his name wrong for the last four years. Bit embarrassing. We are working on brake lights. We know a lot of you have been requesting it and as well as sequential turn signals for those cars that have it. So brake lights and reverse lights, they are a work in progress. We haven't forgotten about it, just so you know. But should be noted that's gonna take a long time because all the vehicles, taillights have to be remodeled. Yeah. Which we're doing with all the new concepts as well though. This has been a highly requested feature for years now. And yeah, finally, we are getting brake lights and sequential turning signals for the vehicles that use them, which is, is great news. Things like these just add even more realism to private servers, and it's great for roleplay scenarios. Uh, plan on making like any improvements to the weapon system? Uh, so yeah, Fish has been working on the weapons, uh, and then we're also working on new animations and UIs for them. Fish, since, since they're coming relatively soon and it's a big requested feature, you know, I'll let you say whatever you want to say. I will say a bit because I don't want to spoil too much about it, but you can add attachments to them. Well, not mm -hmm. every gun, but I know everyone is um, complaining about how the view model looks like. So when you like zoom in, so that will be completely new, will be smooth, will be squeaky clean, basically. Any of, you know, like the sound issues or any animations is issues. Um... Yeah, complete, like complete remake. We mobile people who who like complain that they can't um, draw the gun down for roleplay purposes. That will 
be completely fixed and improved on in uh, whenever this comes around. This is amazing news, and I know many people will be very excited to hear a complete overhaul of the gun system in game. I believe the last time they had a, a big update to the gun system was January of 2021, so it has been a long time since any major changes have taken place. Do you think AI NPCs, I suppose, could play more of a role in the future of the game? Definitely. Yeah, this is something that I like, um, you know, would like to see, and I kind of started the initiative to add more NPCs, and um, I think it adds a nice dynamic to the game. So Roblox recently announced some new features with uh, voice chat. And do you think that in the future, voice chat radios, PA systems, and megaphones could work for VC only servers or as a, a private server option? Oh, 100%. I, I will say that. I, I don't know exactly to what extent we're going to go with it, but uh, the voice chat API is something we've been asking for ever since voice chat was released um yeah i don't want to obviously give too many details on what could come especially because i haven't even we haven't even started anything on it but yeah stuff more voice as roblox releases more features we plan to try and use as many of them whatever makes sense for the game uh currently as you may have noticed we're starting to use uh uv wraps textures for liveries instead of um simple decals, which is what we've been using before. How would they have noticed that? Because the bucket truck and yeah, the bucket truck uses that I'm pretty sure. I think, he's, I think he's just leaky. That's okay. Yeah, you, you can just leak. <laughs> they don't know we do that. <laughs> so I don't think they were supposed to say this, but ERC will be moving towards UV wrapped liveries in the future, which makes a lot of sense because which makes a lot of sense, especially if they are reworking a lot of their vehicles. Now, yes, unfortunately, this does mean that any livery made before the UV wraps are introduced will not be compatible. But do not worry because PLC will be supporting a transition period. They'll go into more detail once it is implemented, so do not worry for the time being. But honestly, it's quite exciting looking forward. We have a bunch of AI calls. Do you guys think AI, like there will be more AI calls, but you will have more interaction with them i've seen that um in suggestions a lot um it's something we're testing and working on like i said we're um you know exploring npcs in general um and definitely makes sense with you know ai npc calls for police and stuff um so we're, we're uh testing it i would say somebody asked will we ever get a courthouse in a court system i've seen that spam at that we, we might be planning something, nothing to share yet, but uh, definitely something that I think would be a cool update and we've seen it asked a lot. I would love a court system in the game and I think many roleplay servers as well would benefit from having one in game instead of one in a community center or external game under that group. Hoping we can see that come this summer. Custom sirens is we can't really just let you upload custom sirens because then you'd upload anything and we have we can't let people upload um ip that they don't have the rights to and audio is ip we definitely do though uh, see that suggested a lot and we would like to offer like a lot of different siren sounds um but we can't just you know let you upload anything and we also can't just go on the internet and copy the sounds from you know, a federal signal siren or something. And that is it for the Q&A. And now there was around 40 questions asked and unfortunately I couldn't include all of them in this video. But if you do have any questions about the Q&A, feel free to drop them below and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Honestly, it does look like the developers have a lot planned for this spring and summer. So I'm really hoping it is going to be an exciting time for the game and community. So that is it for today's video. Thank you very much to PLC for hosting the Q&A and inviting me to host it with them. Lots to look forward to. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.